It's the AY Show. just got here. I gotta go to work. But, uh, you didn't even tell me you were working today. I, I just figured we were gonna spend the day together. Baby, baby, chill. When I'm not around, you complain. When I you know what? Work, it's you... fine. If you have to go, just go. Singer songwriter, um, Nigerian, just a fun loving girl next door type person who has been blessed with a gift um, from God. Um, so, yeah, um, <laughs> it's kind of a funny story. I've said this before, but I had a crush on a guy when I was in secondary school, and I noticed he used to hang out with all the, you know, cool kids who were like the musicians. So, I went to my teacher and I said I wanted to. Um, enroll in the music courses and I wanted to sing so he asked me to sing a song and I did and he was like oh you actually have raw talent you know that can be developed into something so that's kind of how it started unfortunately I still didn't get the guy <laughs> but I discovered my talent from God I started up really as a backup singer and that's where I started my professional music career and I was blessed to work as a backup singer for George Michael in Wembley Stadium in front of about 80,000 people so that was that was an amazing night and I also went on tour with Mary J Blige around Europe as a backup singer um, I did a lot um, of stuff while I was, I was at school at Berkeley for Shaka Khan and you know, I worked with Babyface. I'm also signed to um, Sony in the US as a songwriter, so I've written songs for um, Monica, Fantasia, which um, has been a blessing. And I also had the privilege of doing background vocal work on Whitney Houston's last album and one of the songs on the album. So um, that, has, that was definitely an honor for me to do that. So many. One is when I got to open for Two Face um, when he did his um, concert um, in Echo Hotel. I was fairly unknown then, and I was just asked to sing the national anthem. And I remember, you know, when they said Tiwa Savage, and everyone was just like, "Who's that?" <laughs> So, um, but by the time I finished performing, I actually got people standing up on their feet. Um, so that, that was a great moment for me. Also, when I got to perform at the Channel O Awards last year, towards the end of 2011, it, it was great to see that my music is starting to grow outside of Nigeria. So that was a great moment for me too. Even though I said one of my greatest moments was when I opened for Two Face, it was actually one of my most embarrassing moments too because my dress for the performance came literally five minutes before I was supposed to go on stage. So I, I didn't have time to try it on before. So they had said, oh, um, next on stage is, you know, Rising Star, Tiwa Savage. And I put the clothes on and as soon as I was walking on stage, the zip ripped at the back. 
and I didn't even know. So, you know, Banky was just like, oh my God, like, like my whole back was open. And this was the first time I was meeting Two Face, MI. Um, Banky was there, like I said. So I was really, really embarrassed. They tried to pin me up. And all this time, you know, the, the band and everybody was on stage. So um, I had to go back, change into something that was not planned. So that was quite embarrassing. I have a few. Anybody who knows me knows that I love Brandy. Um, she's my all-time favorite. Um, like I said, Whitney Houston. Um, Kim Burrell, too. Um, vocally, I think she she's just incredible. But here in Nigeria, I look up to people like Two Face, Fela, um, Don Jazzy, um, even, um, you know, people like Banky W, seeing how successful he's been, nice. You know, I look up to them. I actually don't have a favorite color. Unfortunately, I know, but I don't. <laughs> My favorite color is, wait, I was gonna say green for money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't have a favorite color, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God, I love Ewa going and I get you bread. I absolutely love it. Sometimes I can drive all the way to Surulere in the morning just to get that, so it's my favorite. I'm quite boring. I know when people see me on stage, they think I have this, you know, extraordinary lifestyle, but I, I really like to be at home. I love to watch movies, drink tea in my bed, and just just have a long time at home. But I also, also like to go to concerts. I like seeing other people perform, and I like going to see comedians, because, you know, they, they make you laugh, you unwind, you forget your stress and your worries for that short period of time, but, you know, they, they do give you an escapism, so I like going to comedy shows. Hey! Number seven um, is the one and only I Go Die. Um, I believe he's been in the industry for like over 15 years, so he's been doing pretty great to be that consistent for so long. Um, he is one of the great interpreters of that real worry pigeon accent um, that cracks everybody up, so definitely he's my number seven. Now, wow, we need people who can move. They tell us that they get leaders. We don't have leaders, we only have dealers. <laughs> people, when they sell, change all our guests. Our guests, most of them, they are planning to be banker. But some of them are the writer Ross. Not their fault. <laughs> See some boys that they are planning to be professor. Now they are not cool, cool, cool. You know what I mean? For me, they are need to respect myself. <laughs> Yeah, 
truth. I go no sabi worry mo. I hear God say do I go take run? You not go do this. I know you want go so, but this guy will run no. And they talk Indian man they laugh. I mean this Indian man they hear pigeon. Now but now what? Before we will smoke. Any person in yellow hair call we go say no yibo. Oh yibo get great. I be everybody wear yellow be yibo. So I'm I just go. Whatever India, whatever Pakistan, I don't know. They make a house, I can't get. Not your ego. Hello, sir. I'm sorry. Where are you from? India. Hey! Number six, I have to give it up to one of the females, um, Princess. I love her because she has um, a lot of characters that she executes really, really well. Um, she also cracks me up um, on the TA show where she, um, again, takes on many hats and um, has many personas. So definitely, definitely, number six is perfect. The problem of this country, non married men, the cause her. You will ask me why. Thank you, moderator. A married man who woke up by himself, we have his bath by him, then we enter his car by himself and move out by him, going somewhere. There's a young boy in the school who registered in the school by himself and he writes his exam by him, then he have a girlfriend for himself. Then the married man at the beginning who left home by himself, we drive to the school of the boy who is by himself and snatch his girlfriend. I'm coming over. Then the girlfriend, we follow the guy because of money and car. Then the boy will be sad. Then he will join a gang so that they can go and rob people so he will be picked up like the guy. He can snatch his girlfriend back. I'm going to pass a bill now. All married men should be transferred to the north. Do you agree with me? Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm actually trying to keep my cheeks from laughing so much, but my number five is um, Julius Agro. He um, definitely a pioneer um, in the industry, and I had the privilege of working with him in one of the shows where I was one of the performers, and that's where I got to see him perform live. And he's very, very, very funny. I really enjoyed his skits. So number five is Julius Agro. So that's my point. This will begin to compose songs that can show Nigeria versatility. Some of these things work. Whiskey had no guy. <laughs> but he prophesied to himself. My money and your money. <laughs> So number four is Ebobom. Um, he <laughs> he's a character. Even off stage, he still cracks people up. He opens for us on Nigerian Idol, and that's a really really hard task. You know, sometimes we're not ready yet, and he's on stage warming the crowd up, and he gets them just right before we start. So for that, he's my number four. Shoo! <laughs> All these small green walking lots away for worry. 
All the maliki, all of them, all this poverty, they kill me. Why can't they go see the way why I don't package my life? He go iron my character, go put gate off on my career. I don't want to clap on that, not easy. Thank you very much, no time. I say when many comedians and they talk of poverty, the one who experience our house, that one get great. I must talk her because now only me be the comedian who I know say they talk the truth, they leave the fact, make the promo for teacher. Oh, go, 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 go. My poor, that guy bought what he had she dreamt for inside two room, now bonus put. Guys, I get two sisters, they don't grow, hope say they'll go marry, they bought five five journals for the two room. If we want sleep with the lap, each other sleep. Number three has to be my girl, Chi Girl. She is fantastic. And what a lot of people don't know about her is that she's actually a singer. I know she does that thing where she sings and she kind of adds comedy into it, but she can actually, actually sing. And I've had the privilege of hearing her sing. But aside from that, she is holding it down for females in the industry. She's so funny. She captivates the audience and she just has a different approach to it. So I'm really, really proud of her. So number three for me is Chi Girl. Welcome back. You're still here with me, Tiwa Savage, on my countdown for my favorite comedians. Number two has to be Basket Mouth. He, he's a household name now. He's done so many shows um, here across the seas. He's, he's just a great businessman too and he's definitely brought so much to the industry so I really really appreciate what he's done. I'm sure many people do so for me number two is my big bro Basket Mouth. But quickly I want to just uh, uh, say this. I've noticed that see when uh, Uyibo people let, eh, as I be talk about Uyibo people, where eh, because you, you know, they try, you know, try to understand what, why they do what they do. I went when I went to book uh, Gina. I went, when I went, I went to the agent. Gina and I, my friend, we performed before together over there. So we're just in and told her, we're just talking about all that. At that time, saying, Gina, I'd like you to come to Nigeria and perform. That was the last day she picked my call. The next thing, agents come call me. This girl blocked me. I did not see Gina again. An agent, they call me, Uyibo, different Uyibo people. But at the end of the day, they now agreed. Do you know that they are the only people that are never afraid? Do you know that? For war, look Iraq. Uh, Christina Amopo goes to the war um, city. Go, go there, go to cover war. People, they bomb the people. She go dead there. All right, I'm here in Iraq. It's so dangerous. The insurgents are dead. I did this one. And you dead there. You see, they report news. They know they fear. The only time the white people are afraid is when they want to f*** you up. Seriously. Go embassy. <laughs> so I'm afraid, but we can't grant you your visa. For those of you who have just joined us, you've missed a really, really great show. Funny show. Um, but just to recap, my top seven comedians. At seven is I Go Die. Um, six for me, Princess. Five, Julius Agro. Four, Ibom Bom. Three was Chi Girl. Two, Basket Mouth. And number one, my number uno, the one, the only, AY. I mean, this guy, not only is he funny, but his professionalism, like the, what he puts into his shows, the skits, the preparation before, the interludes, the music, everything. He, you can tell that he puts so much into it. And so I look up to him as well as a businessman um, when I'm putting on my shows, just the way he's dedicated to his craft. He's also uh, a big brother of mine. He prays for me a lot, gives me a lot of advice. He's given me so many opportunities. Um, and no one can deny his talent. So for me, number one is AY. May I tell you, eh? And I'll get waiting, this celebrity thing not gonna make us turn to. One day we'll go to Chris Wakana boxers. Now all these Hollywood people now put us for trouble. If you see people like them, them for that side, may I not hype them. When they approach their red carpet, if they hear names, I'm wearing Gucci Pacano. I'm wearing this Tisalo. I wear because of that one now. Our Niger artists, I don't put them for trouble. 
We don't know how to do red carpet now. So everybody, they come red carpet package with lie. <laughs> and some of them, because they speak English, they won't deceive us. Banky W, what are you wearing? Oh, that is kamikaze. <laughs> oh, oh, this is made of gafiano kotaku. <laughs> I, I said gafiano kotaku. One day now, vest. I go put her for Google. Gafiano, the meaning Egyptian goat. everyone my name is Tiwa Savage aka Miss Kele Kele and you're watching me and my top seven comedians the perfect seven 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 is the number Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Tiwa Savage! 